Welcome to my weekly market roundup, 10th November 2019. I am Sagar Nandi, designer and developer of Q Systems and Techniques. I used to work in IT, mostly in Singapore. I retired several years ago. Now I am living in Thailand. I trade stocks and sometimes stock options in the USA market and also in the global markets. You may contact me using my email id tradingprofitably at gmail.com. I regularly share stock and market analysis at my traders forum sagarnandi.com and also on my twitter page and I regularly create videos and share through the youtube channel trading profitably. All of these are open to the public and you are most welcome to make use of them. Before I continue, let me go through the disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on the trading systems and techniques I use. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. I am not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument, I will have no liability for any investment decision made by the audience. As usual, I will look at oil and gold using technical analysis. They tend to impact related stocks. Then I will try to identify trading opportunities using complete 360 degrees analysis. That is trading opportunities where market sector industry, fundamental and technical, all the forces are aligned together. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let me continue with the live system. US Oil ETF, USO. I am looking at it using weekly backdrop chart template and daily hop on or entry chart template. Together I call this at a glance template because using this single template, you can decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, price recovered nicely from the memory support trend lines. The weekly backdrop candle color is cyan for three weeks. This week's candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily chart, price created higher lows. On Friday, we have a cyan colored candle. Weekly is also cyan. This is giving a trend following go with flow long trade setup at the right edge. You may consider taking a long trade putting stop just below recent low, which will be just below Friday's low. Gold ETF GLD. One week ago in the market roundup I mentioned looking at the weekly chart that price was moving effectively sideways and I suggested avoiding taking any long trade even though the weekly backdrop was bullish. On hindsight that turned out to be a great idea because this week price reversed sharply. This week's backdrop candle color and shape both are bearish. The relative performance is showing that it is considerably underperforming the market. In the daily chart, price came down and hit the lower boundary level. It is oversold as shown by the stretch indicator, the dot indicator. You may not take any short trade now because it is already oversold and it is hitting the lower boundary level. If price recovers a little bit from here and tilts down again, then it may give a low risk swing short trade entry opportunity. Right now there is no trading opportunity in gold. 
after the commodities analysis i carry out the market level analysis using the market etfs this is the highest level of the 360 degrees analysis that i carry out every day when the weekly was at this point in that week's market roundup i suggested looking for breakout trading opportunities looking back that again turned out to be a great idea because after that for two weeks spy went up this week's backdrop color is bullish the shape is somewhat indecisive it has both upper as well as lower tail in the daily chart since the time i suggested looking for breakout opportunities price went up almost in a straight line the chart is clearly bullish at the right edge price is above the upper boundary level and the stretch band indicator is showing that it is overbought for several days it is bullish but too overbought to take any long trade right now in the daily price is supported by the memory trend line if that is broken then you may manage your existing long positions and avoid eroding profit in them nasdaq etf qqq this was the strongest of the four market etfs and that is continuing to be the same the relative performance copper color dotted line is continuing to tilt up one second since the time i suggested looking for breakout trades qqq went up nicely like spy in the daily chart it is above the upper boundary level it is overbought in the daily chart it is overbought in the weekly chart as well bullish but too extended to look for any long trade now Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA this also broke out made a new all time high as you noticed SPY and QQQ also made new all time highs this week like SPY and QQQ DIA is also above the upper boundary level and overbought it is bullish but too extended to look for any long trade now Russell 2000 ETF IWM this was the laggard of the four market ETFs even IWM could break out not to a new all time high but it could break out above this weekly memory resistance line still this week's candle shape is indecisive a doji candle in the daily it is above upper boundary level and it is overbought all the four market etfs are looking bullish but they are overbought you may not initiate any new long trade in the market right now if the market pulls back little bit and then starts to go up again that will give several low risk go with flow trend following buying opportunities you may wait for that right now you may avoid taking any new long position in this market after studying the market level i study the sector level here i am looking at one month sector performance of the 11 sectors the red bar represents this week's performance the green bar previous weeks and the blue bar performance of two weeks before that to get that they give me one week of sector performance here you can see that over 5 days eight sectors went up three went down previous week seven went up and four went down and two weeks before that 11 went up and none of the sectors went down that is showing bullishness in the market over several weeks if we look at this week's performance 
eight of the sectors went up and three sectors went down. The three sectors that went down are consumer staples, real estate and utilities all are defensive sectors. That is showing clear bullishness at the sector level as well. This is another view of the sectors using scorecard and heat map. Here you can look at the 11 sectors strength across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods of 10 day, 5 day, etc. You can double click the column header to sort by that column and double click again to reverse the sort order. Cyan color represents strength. Magenta represents weakness. This heat map instantly shows which sectors are strong now, materials and energy, and which are weak, utilities, real estate, consumer staples. The defensive sectors are weak, non-defensive sectors are strong. It also shows the transition of the sector, sector rotation over time. Energy that was weak for a long time, the score was in magenta color, is now turning into strength. It is the second best performing sector this week. And the pace column shows acceleration, deceleration. Cyan color shows acceleration. Using the pace column, you can see that energy is the second best performing sector and the most accelerating sector. You saw that oil ETF USO is giving a possible trend following buy setup now. Energy stocks are expected to go up if oil goes up. Using the strength of oil and the strength of the energy sector, you may look for buy setups in energy. What about the short side? If you are looking for shorting opportunities, you will look for them in the Worst performing sectors, that is utilities, real estate, or consumer staples. Or you could also combine the deceleration. If you combine weakness and deceleration both, you can identify consumer staples. It is one of the worst performers and it is also one of the most decelerating sectors. Let me drill down into consumer staple stocks. Consumer staples is looking weak, therefore you will only look for shorting opportunities. I could short by Friday's performance and look for stocks that went down. These are the stocks that went down most on Friday. Out of them MED that went down a lot by 27% the shorting opportunity may not be there right now. Low risk shorting opportunity may not be there. You could focus on the other few stocks that went down by more than 2% on Friday. That will be DF, SPTN, JJSF, AVP and PSMT. Let me focus on only these few stocks. I am left with these five stocks. Out of them, DF and SPTN, they have valuation in cyan color, showing they are undervalued. I am looking for shorting opportunities where all the forces are aligned. In terms of fundamentals, valuation, DF and SPTN are not looking weak, they are undervalued. Therefore, I am not going to look for a shorting opportunity in them. I am now left with only three stocks, JJSF, AVP and PSMT. Let me focus on the first stock, that is JJSF. JJSF is overvalued. In the latest quarter, 
it has positive earnings growth but earnings growth reduced from the previous quarter. Fundamentally it is overvalued with decreasing earnings growth. Therefore in terms of fundamentals you could consider this stock to be weak. What about the industry? The stock belongs to package foods and meats industry and the industry scorecard heat map is showing that it is weakening. The strength color is turning from cyan to magenta. Therefore we have found a stock that is in a weak sector, in a weak industry and the stock's fundamentals are looking weak. This is the time where you will look at the technical charts to see if there is a low risk shorting opportunity. Let me analyze the stock using technical charts now. JJSF using the weekly daily at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it was moving inside a narrow range for several weeks, for several months. This week it dropped heavily, broke below the narrow sideways range. The weekly backdrop candle color is bearish, the shape is also bearish. The relative performance line is showing it is considerably underperforming the market. The next memory trend line support is quite a distance away from the current closing price. In the daily chart, price broke below the sideways range. On Friday, price dropped heavily. It is already below the lower boundary level and it is oversold. Using daily chart, you may not look for a shorting opportunity right now because the stop level will be far away. The logical stop level will be just above the memory resistance line if you use the daily chart. What could you do with JJSF now? One option will be to use the intraday real time fine tune chart to see if you can find a low risk short entry opportunity in 5 minute or 10 minutes time frame. If you are using daily interval then you may wait for it to recover a little bit and then till down again thereby giving a low risk go with float and following shorting opportunity. That was an example of use of the 360 degrees approach to identify a potential opportunity, add it to your watch list and look for the next low risk shorting opportunity using technical charts. I regularly share such possible opportunities on my traders forum saganandi.com and also on my Twitter page twitter.com slash saganandi. Let me summarize. The market is looking bullish, no doubt about that. SPY, QQQ and DIA made new all-time highs. IWM is reasonable distance away from making a new all-time high. However, it also broke out of the weekly memory resistance line. The market is bullish. However, it is also overbought. All the market ETFs are overbought. At this point, you may not look for a new buy opportunity. You may also be careful about taking any short trade because the market is pretty bullish. What about the sector level? The sector level is also looking bullish. The three sectors that were down were all defensive sectors. All the non-defensive sectors are up. Energy is one sector that was weak for a long time and now strengthening. The US oil is also giving a possible buy setup. You may look for buying opportunities in energy. The market is overbought. Though you may not take any short trade right now, you may get ready with a watch list of stocks where you may short them if the market reverses. 
and you will find such opportunities in sectors that are weak, industries that are weak, stocks that are fundamentally weak and technically the stocks are weak as well. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in my next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.